Okay. Uh, so everyone, we'll continue with our um, lesson on joint probability. Sa lesson 0 to 5. Okay. So the next topic is on the distribution of subset of random variables. So if you have a joint probability density function of multiple random variables, so I mean that you have a variable from x1 to p, and this is and the probability distribution or probability density function of that random variable is a function of all that variable, then uh, we can express another uh, probability density function, which is a subset of that uh, distribution as a function of x1 to uh, xk, where k is less than kp, and get the integration of that function without k. So, wala yung k dito, ang makikita mo. Okay? Where the integral is over all points are in the range of x1, xp, which x equals x, xi capital is equal to xi small letter x for i 1 to k. So, yun lang yung uh, this subset. Then, you can have the conditional probability distribution of this uh, probability function. So, an example is that here we have a variable 5. So, lima lang yung variable natin. And we wish to find the distribution conditional on x4 and x5. So, the probability of your x1, x2, x3 given that uh, x4, x5. So, it's just the probability of your uh, or the function of your x1 to x5 divided by the probability conditional or the subset uh, distribution of x4 and x5 only. So, pareho lang to nung dun sa uh, dalawa. So, meaning, we'll just reduce the probability of the function in the given expression. Okay, now, for the independence C, pareho lang din. If you get the uh, value of each conditional variable, for each uh, variable, yung conditional function, and multiply them, and the final product is the same as your original function. Therefore, your functions are independent. Meaning, if you want to get the probability of the whole function for independent, you just multiply the probability for each uh, expression. Okay, so I think it's an example. Uh, we're using the discrete uh, probability distribution as example. Suppose that we have three parameters, x1, x2, and x3, represent the thickness in micrometer of a substrate, an active layer, and a coating layer. So, tatlo. Uh, x1 is the substrate, x2 is the active layer, and x3 is the coating layer of a chemical product. Assume that the variables are independent. So, take note, these are independent. And normally distributed. So, pag normally distributed, we can use normal distribution and standardize the distribution to de determine the probability. With the parameter and specified limit is on the table. So, ito siya. Ito yung data. You have the lower and the upper limit, the mean and the standard deviation, de uh, deviation of the data for x1, x2, and x3. So, ang tanong, what proportion of the product meets the specification. So, meaning, dapat uh, everything follows the specification. So, ngayon, kukombine lang natin siya. Yung product lang yan, kasi independent naman. So, you just need to get the probability of each function. So, ito yon yung probability limit. So, paano siya kinuha? Yung uh, probability ng Z lang siya uh, between, uh, sorry, X from, sorry, bunin ka lang so, probability of uh, x from lower limit to upper limit. Then, just transpose them, transpose it to z. C ng lower limit, tsaka upper limit. Okay, so given naman yung data. And we know that c, ang z natin ay equal sa x minus mu over standard deviation. So, bunahin ko lahat. Uh, erase all. So, 
makukuha natin ito lahat na limits for each variable. Okay? So, kayo na lang yung kumuha, pero yun lang yung gagamitin, yung z value. Then, we want to get the, the proportion of the product meets all the specifications. So, you just multiply each value. So, ito, multiply nito, multiply nito. So, ang sagot dyan, pag minultiply nyo, itong 0.77782. So, the product lang ng tatlong layer. Then, ang tanong, which of the three thickness has the least probability of meeting spec? So, meaning, alin yung pinaka uh, mag-cause mag ng uh, problem? Or, usually, yung pinaka uh, under spec siya or outside the specification. So, tingnan nyo lang yung probability each at kung sino yung pinakamababang probability, yun yung sagot. So, basically, yung layer 3 which is the coating layer no ating chemical product. So, basically, ayun yung nagkukos ng problem. Okay, now, <clears throat> For joint probability, one of the parameters, dalawang parameter yung usually na we want to determine sa joint probability. Yung covariance at yung isa ay yung uh, correlation. So, correlation. So, for the covariance, uh, basically, it's just the uh, product expected value of each x, y. Where this is just the summation of each x, y times your f of x, y for all values of x, y. Ganun din sa integration. Multiply nyo lang yung h, x, y with f, x, y and integrate it from for dx and dy. So, first we need to describe the expected value which is yung h, x. So, ano yung definition nito? Now, uh, let's have this one. Let's define your uh, expected value as uh, the difference of the uh, bar variable in the marginal mean. Ito yung mean ng x lang, mean ng y. So, uh, take note yung example 5.3. Ito siya, yung example natin about dun sa number of bars ng signal sa yung response time. Take note na ito yung probability natin at uh, ito yung ating mean value kuha natin yan. Tama? Ito yon Yung mean value no expression. So, para makuha to, kailangan each variable, ito, 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 tsaka to, isusubtract mo yung mean nila for x, ito, for y naman, yung new y. Isusubtract mo lang yan. So, meaning, for example, itong portion na to. So, we have 1 minus 2.35 times 1 minus 2.49, times yung probabilis P specified to that combination, 0 0.01. Okay? So, buren ko lang, ilan meron tayong data? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we have 12 data, so 12 uh, expression na ganito, times the probability. So, ito yung kinukuha natin, and this is our HK. Tama? H uh, H of XY. So, multiply lang natin siya dun sa probability ng XY, which is the probability of XY yung nanditong mga data. And we have 12 data. Okay, burahin ko na lahat ng mga data. So, therefore, you just get all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 data. And get the sum, yung summation lang summation nila. So, the expected value for our HK which is X minus mu X times Y minus mu Y is negative 0 0.5815. Okay? Now, for the covariance, the covariance which is uh, denoted as your sigma XY or you can use the cob XY parenthesis, is just equal to the expected value of the product of the difference of your variable, your random variable, minus the mean value, or you can have the, the expected value of xy. Multiply nyo lang yung kada parameter and minus dun sa product ng mean. Take note that 
the uh, unit of sigma are units of x times unit of y. So, multiply nyo lang yung unit. And the range of value is from negative infinity to infinity. So, yung example ng units ito, yung x i feet, yung y i found. So, ang covariance nyo is put found yung units nyo. Susundan. Okay? Now, for the correlation naman, the correlation is just a uh, uh, a value measurement of how are the variables related. So usually, ang correlation mo is just denoted as the uh, row. This is row of x, y. And this is equal to the uh, covariance of x, y divided by the variance of x and the variance of y. Or pwedeng yung sigma ng x, y divide by the product of sigma of x and sigma of y. Take note, dapat non-zero to. Okay? Pag zero yan, magiging undefined yung uh, data nyo. Take note that mu x and cob x y have the same sign. So, therefore, your raw x, ang data mo lang will be ranging from negative 1 to 1. And this is a dimensionless value. Okay, variables with non-zero correlation are meaning correlated. So, may relationship sila. So, how strength yung relationship depends on the value. So, kung sa linear uh, regression, usually if you have negative 1 or 1 near the negative 1 and the 1 value, strong yung linear correlation niya. Pag nasa zero, wala siyang linear correlation. Ganun lang yung ibig sabihin for, for linear function. Okay, now. For covariance and correlation, so this is an example of a probability function with x and y. So determine the covariance and the correlation to the figure below. So ito yung data mo. So you have how many data? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So anim na data. And itong value na to is the probability. Probability yan. Okay? Mga probability of the function. Okay. So... From the joint probability, we know that ito yung data natin. So, pag kinuha mo siya, 0, 0, 1, 1, we have 1, 2, 2, uh, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. Ayan yung data. And that's the probability. Pag nag-marginal tayo, yung marginal, pag may nakakita kayong pareho, you just add. So, kagaya nito, 0.1, 0.2. Ito, dalawa, 2, 0.2. Okay? So, ganun din sa y. And you get the mean and the variance. So, yung mean, multiply nyo lang sila, di ba? Multiply and uh, add. Ganun din to. Multiply, then add. Ito lang yun, 1.8. Okay, pag variance naman, di ba? Yung variance natin, I squared nyo lang to. Squared siya pare-pareho. Squared nyo yan. Multiply, get the sum, and i-minus nyo yung squared nito. Minus pa to. Ganun din to, minus yung square nyo to for your y. Makukuha nyo yung variance. Okay? So, dapat naalala na yon Okay? So, makukuha nyo tong mean at saka yung standard deviation for x and y value. Then, you just get the difference ng ito, value ng mean. Ganun din yung ito with u y. Ito lang yon Makukuha nyo siya. And everything, for everything. So, just subtract. Okay? Then, you get the product. So, get the product, multiply nyo lang yan, lahat, and that will be the uh, product. Pag kinuha nyo yung sum, so, you i-add nyo lang to, that will be the covariance. Okay, so, nakuha na yung covariance at 1.260. So, yung correlation, yung mu natin is just yung covariance xy over sigma x, sigma why? So, this is just 1.260. Ito yun. 1.260. And yung mu x, uh, sigma x at sigma y ay ito. So, pag kinuha nyo yung value, 0.926. So, uh, this value ex express that the correlation of the product is strong. So, meaning medyo uh, you can have a trend or behavior for this kind of data. Okay, now, for the independence. 
for the independency of variable, it implies that when your rho is equal to 0, then it is uh, basically probably independent siya. Pero it's not necessary na pag 0 siya, the uh, data or the variables are independent. Pero kung independent siya, dapat 0 yung uh, rho nyo or yung correlation. Okay, so let's have this uh, example. The independence imply zero co variance. So let's have this uh, function of xy, which is xy over 16, for this range of value from 0 to 2 and 0 to 4. Show that the uh, variance or standard deviation of xy is equal to 0. So kailangan natin kunin yung xy tsaka yung Expected value of xy, expected value of x, and expected value of y. So, for expected value of x, hindi na siya gagawin ng individual kasi familiar na kayo. Imumultiply nyo lang to ng x. So, multiply ng x, di ba? This is x times f of xy. Okay? Then, integrate nyo for that value. Okay? So, upon integration, burayin natin lahat. Makikita nyo dito, uh, 1 over 16 constant xy square dx dy. Actually, pwede naman na magkabaliktad yung dx dy na, na expression. Ganun pa rin naman yung, yung lalabas na value. So, 4 over 3. Yung expected value ng y, ganito din to, integration ng, double integration ng y times f of xy dx dy. Okay? Or d, dy dx. So, and then siya, multiply nyo lang ng y, kaya y squared na yun, then get the integration. Yes ka na. So, madali lang naman yung integration nito. Then, for expected value ng xy, this is just multiply xy. So, expected value ng xy, ito ay integration ng xy. Ito yung uh, xy, which is product siya. xy times your f of xy. Okay? Ito yung h of xy natin. Yung x times y. Okay? So, kaya naging x squared, y squared. So, by uh, double integration pa din siya, integrate lang natin dun sa limit kung saan uh, yung range ng value for x and y. And we will have this 32 over 9. And kunin natin yung Covariance, which is yung sigma of xy na uh, expected value ng xy minus expected value ng x times expected value ng y. So, get lang yung product nitong dalawa and isubtract nyo dito and zero yung value na lalabas. So, this one is just a representation of this planar joint distribution. Okay, so we'll end our lesson here. For now, uh, and we will continue uh, next meeting.